I could. All right, guys, I'm about to go on a morning walk with yeah. my low content wolf dog, Artemis. Dakota, stop. I wish that I could bring Dakota out, but he's very powerful and doesn't have great manners yet, so it's too risky. I've had a lot of you guys ask me what collar or harness I use to walk her, and it's a great question because I have to be super confident because okay. I have to be able to be super confident that she's not going to escape. So <laughs> I'll show you what I use. Wow, this is not supposed to be the chaotic side. Okay, so. <laughs> this is supposed to go so much smoother than this. So first we just have like a regular old fashioned fabric, Martingdale style collar. You know, like it tightens a little bit if she pulls. And then I have this little attachment thingy that connects to a second collar. Who's stepping on this? And this is a prong collar. Um, you don't have to get one that's like as fancy as this, but the little metal pieces are actually covered in plastic. I feel like they look like they hurt an animal, but honestly, these have been the best tool for training any dog how to walk for me. <laughs> what? All my domestic dogs are trained to the prong collar as well. It just puts even pressure all around the neck. And when she pulls, it's like, oh, I don't really like that. Maybe I'll slow down so the pulling stops. Like choke collars, I would never recommend choke collars. They're just, I don't know, they just choke a dog. It's, it's silly. I don't like those. And I also have a leash that has a, I don't know if I'm saying this word right. I've only ever read it. Car carabiner? Like a really heavy duty clip. What are you doing? I want to bring you for a walk. Relax. Okay, Nikki. No. Wolf dogs are fun. Rescue wolf dogs, they said. We're not going for a walk? Yeah, well then, pull two. Come here. We got one on. Okay, see, so this attaches the two just in case either of them were to break or something. Because I would probably get yelled at with all my special licenses if I had a wolf dog on the loose. Ta -da. Okay, you guys can see they're all connected. We are good to go. Hold on, Missy, you got my phone. <laughs> was, that, was that like the most chaotic video you've ever seen for a tutorial? So her manners are getting way better. She does not pull anything like she used to. Yeah, even with her smaller size body, guys, she can pull really hard if she wants to. As you guys might be wondering why I don't just use a harness. Some dog trainers might disagree with this. They might like harnesses. I do not like harnesses. I have had multiple animals slip a harness that's put on correctly before. I've never had an animal escape a collar that is fastened correctly. I also kind of feel like a lot of harnesses actually give the dog more strength to pull because it's like, because that weight is distributed against their chest. Also, instead of ever holding her leash like this, I always slip my hand through and then hold like this. She knows to take a detour down my parents' driveway without me even directing her now because <laughs> she wants to get her cookie from Grammy and Papa. Who just got home? Who just pulled in? Uh, hello, we're here for our cookie. Dave, do you have a treat for this girl? Sit. Hey, Artemis, sit. Sit. Catch. Good girl. Nice. What was today's cookie? Oh, Is that you. a piece of steak? It was a little piece of steak with some nice fat on it, huh? Yeah, all done. <laughs> Dakota was a little happy to see me when we got back. Do you need me to keep petting you? You had a good walk. <laughs> Mary Lynn and Jacob being buddies. That's a couple of handsome boys over there. Guys, look at Jacob. He's just a pup, not even a yearling yet. And he is taller than Dakota. Dakota, are you a good leader? <laughs> Marilyn, hi handsome boy. Are you freaking kidding me? Stop, he was just coming up. Hi Marilyn. She's my problem child. Jacob, I love you.